Okay, so for trimming plates, I put a sponge, a dry sponge right in the middle that's gonna support the center. So it won't slump, at least it won't slump too much, too far. Then I put my plate on and I'm just gonna kind of gently push it into the middle. That's good. And then I'll start off, this one has like a little bit of a line from the um, cutting tool, so I'll just clean up whatever's gonna be my foot. I don't really care too much about the rest. Clean up that part, and then I, I have a finger in the middle, and then I have my finger right here as a guide for the tool. I'm just gonna gently press the tool down and in about the height of my foot, which is about a quarter inch. This is my trimming rib, which I totally love. You hold it like this to take off a bunch of clay, right? And go down the side. I feel that this plate wants to slip around a little bit on this bat. Don't slip around, plate. <laughs> just kind of gently going up and down. Normally I'd be a little more aggressive, but I just don't want this plate to slip around. Trickster plate. Okay, then I'm going to mark the foot. I want it to be about, whatever, three quarters of an inch. I think is a nice width for a foot, personally. And then I'm going to also make a little button in the very middle. So I'll use my hands again as a guide. And go down again about a quarter inch. Okay. So now I have my foot marked. And then I'm going to use my square end of my trimming tool to take that clay out. Again, I have that finger in the middle and I'm using my hands. I don't know if you can see my hands, how they're connected to each other, but almost always in pottery, throwing or trimming, if you can connect your two hands, uh, it creates a lot of stability. Also, if you'll notice that my both my elbows are resting on my legs, so there's quite a bit of stability here. My arms are on my legs, my hands are on each other, my hands are on the pot. And then I'll go back take out the lines make it nice and flat and even some people like to do this in layers but I really prefer to just do basically one big chunk get most of the clay out and then kind of clean it up a couple times with the flat side of this tool See it slipping around. If the rim was a little bit wetter, I don't know if I said that before, but if the rim was a little bit wetter, it wouldn't slip around so much. All right, then I just go back, clean up all my edges. Soften the whole thing up. I use the round side of this trimming tool to trim the round edge, so Flat sides, use the flat tool. Round sides, I use the round tool. There we go. And that's it. My favorite signing stick is a porcupine quill, but mine broke, so I'm using this aluminum nail right now and I always just put my name and the year 15 and then I will take this off clean it up a little bit and flip it over and even though this sponge was there it's still slumped just a little bit so I'm going to center it and then just gently use my fingers to guide the button that part in the middle back down to flat and there's my plate